If life was a video game, I would be in the bonus round. I'm Troy Ryan. I'm the head coach of Canada's national women's hockey team, and we're here right now in Hubbard's, Nova Scotia. I think hockey was that sort of solid foundation that provided me. Uh, it gave me just experiences that, you know, the, a child that grew up the way I did in the family that I did, I maybe uh, wouldn't have had those opportunities. The money almost kept me out of hockey, and now hockey pays my mortgage. It's, it's pretty surreal when you think of uh, what you can get out of such a beautiful game. One of the things that I've, that honestly have made my job easier has been simply asking questions. Like, what do you need? People would be so surprised, maybe even shocked at the amount of times I ask our leadership group. A question, hey, how did practice today? What do you guys need? What do we need in office? What do we need in video? They're high performance athletes, they're high performance people. They will give you the feedback. You just need to open the door to ask them. And it's so common sense that the people come before the athlete. I think what makes Troy special as a coach is that he values us as humans more than he values us as athletes. He's done an incredible job of trying to get to know each and every one of us on a personal level. Um, and that I think goes hand in hand with our environment, creating trust and having the athletes feel safe. Like it's like family. Why can you be hard on your family? Because there's trust, you care, you love them. You know, a lot of times when I look at the pressure that comes with the type of work that I do, I've never really saw it as pressure. I've always just kind of, it's forced me to reflect back on where I've come from, and it just makes me appreciate the opportunities that I've had moving forward. So I, you know, stress isn't a big part of my game. It's not something that I get too, I don't dive into too deep. It's, you know, I think the reflection back just makes me appreciate the opportunities that I have now. And, and to some extent, I, I feel like I'm representing a lot of those people that helped me along the way. You know, a lot of times my summer can sometimes be my downtime. So just to have the opportunity to be close to the ocean or around the beach. I like to get out on it every once in a while on the paddleboard. I'm not a big swimmer. I don't have a boat or anything like that. So um, I'm a manual type of guy on the ocean. So uh, we got a paddleboard and we get out on the paddleboard and try to bring our dog out as much as we can and just take it in. The one quote that I've had in any office that I've had is winning is not an end result, it's a step-by-step -step process. So if you focus constantly on the win, I think a lot of things can creep into your decisions. I think it alters how you treat people. If you handle and you take care of the environment on a daily basis, you generally get what you deserve. The, the cool part of my job is I'm, I'm coaching Canada and if we get the most out of our athletes, uh, there's some gold in our future. You can live with the results. Like I really can, I've, I've never felt like I'm gonna be, I'm disappointing people if we're not successful in this event. I've, I've never had that feeling. I would hope the athletes don't have that feeling. I think you feel proud that you've executed the process that you've laid out. You can't always win, so you sometimes have to take some pride in uh, situations even when you lose because you've, you've, you've followed a plan and you've prepared properly for it. I don't think there's anything within that to be embarrassed about and I think a lot of times that's where the stress comes when you're feeling the weight of people from outside your bubble. The human side of coaching is so important and I think I've done a better job than I, the previous self would have done. I'm not even close to being where I need to be. We have some characters on our team that play their best when they're loose and they're having fun. I had to be okay with that as a coach. And I think at one point in my career, I definitely wouldn't have been. I would have thought I had to, we had to be more business-like and professional and all those things. I guess as I've matured as a coach, I'm like, what's not professional about having fun? What's not professional about smiling? And I think part of that might be the, part of the culture of hockey. You, you have to be a certain way, you gotta look a certain way, you gotta do things a certain way. I just got comfortable with you know, who I am as a coach, but also who my athletes are, and if they feel they need to be loose as long as we're being respectful to the opposition, um, I'm all for it. It makes for a much better environment, I can tell you that. What I love the most about Troy, and, and the reason why I think we've all developed so much trust in him, is that his actions speak much louder than his words. And he's very much aligned in what he says and what he does. Sometimes as an athlete, you need that honest feedback 
and we often don't love hearing it, but if you want an honest answer, you'll get it from Troy. Really cool to be a part of that and to play for a coach who really respects who we are as people, um, respects the emotions that come with coaching women um, and understanding us for who we are and not just um, us as a hockey player. You know, hockey's just a game. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to be played. It's meant to be enjoyed. Uh, coaching's not a job that you have forever. So I find that puts me in a good headspace, that I'm there to help and do my part. Um, but it's their program, and I'm just there to do what I can.